Hello everyone, this is Carlos from the technical support team. Daedalus team has worked on several user interface improvements for the Daedalus 490 release, which will go on the mainnet in the next couple of days. We invite you to have a preview of the improvements explained. Before we dive in, remember that Daedalus is a full node wallet. This means that when using Daedalus, an instance of Cardano node runs in your system, giving you direct access to the blockchain. It runs the Ouroboros protocol locally without any intermediaries or third-party intervention, so Daedalus gives you the highest level of decentralization and security. Now let's talk about the updates. Daedalus 490 uses Cardano Node 133, a version that brings significant improvements in synchronization times and reduced memory usage. On top of that, Daedalus now gives you more information about what the node is doing under the hood, particularly at startup. First, it validates the integrity of your copy of the blockchain. Then, it replaces the ledger from the last valid snapshot. Please note that if you are upgrading from Daedalus 470 or older, it will replace the ledger starting from Genesis the first time you run it. This may take several hours to complete, so we suggest letting this process run overnight. The next time you use Daedalus, it will replace blocks only from the last saved snapshot, so it will only take a few minutes. This is the case if you are upgrading from Daedalus 4.8, which also uses node 133. After the ledger is replayed, the node applies latest blocks to the ledger. When it's done, it connects to the network, loads your wallet, and starts synchronizing new blocks. This initialization process takes less time if you run Daedalus frequently, so we recommend synchronizing Daedalus at least once a week. We have made the sending native tokens a better experience for you, we have a new token picker dialog that displays all the information of a token. Fingerprint, ticker, name, description, policy ID, asset name, and of course your balance. Tick the box to select the tokens that you want to include in the transaction. Enter the amount of tokens to send. Note that the ADA field is now automatically updated to the minimum ADA required so that you have no longer to edit it manually. The ADA field is also automatically updated if you have entered a lower amount. For a better navigation, the wallet's menu has been improved. Now you have sorting and filtering options. You can order your wallets by date of creation, by balance, and by name. You can also filter wallets by name using the search bar. Another addition is that now your current delegation settings are shown in the table view. The available disk space is now correctly displayed on Windows 11. If your machine has less than 16GB of RAM, Daedalus will display this warning message at startup, recommending to run Daedalus with RTS flags enabled. RTS is the runtime system for the node, and Daedalus configures it to minimize memory usage, so that your machine can handle it better. You can enable or disable RTS flags from the main menu. Go to Help, click on Using RTS flags and confirm your selection. Changing your settings requires restarting Daedalus. If your machine has less than 16GB of RAM, it is recommended to avoid using any other application while running Daedalus. You want to save as much RAM as possible for the node to use. We hope you enjoyed this version of Daedalus, however, if you experience any issues, please let us know. Contact us at iohk.sendesk.com or directly from Daedalus, go to the Help menu, click on Support Request. Our support team will be more than happy to help. Finally, as always, only download Daedalus from the official website, daedaluswallet.io. Remember that since Daedalus is a full node wallet, it is a desktop application only for PC, Mac, and Linux, and it is not available as a mobile application. Thanks for watching, see you next time.